be doing a lower body workout. So I do want to suggest if you are fairly new to squats, or even if you're not, and you just want to make sure that you're getting the depth you need to get, you are keeping your core and your form all in check, then I would suggest using a bench or a plyo box behind you to tap your rear end on every single time you go down. I would also suggest going barefoot in socks or whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna say hello to everyone. No? Okay, so today, uh, just warm up the way that you typically get warmed up. I always suggest dynamic stretching first, and that just means that you are moving and you are not doing static stretches to where you are just in the same position, holding, just like this. Perfect. Good. And if you are questioning whether or not you need to do your cardio prior to or at the end of your weight training routine, I always suggest at the end, um, if at all possible, but doing it is doing it. So you just do what you can do, okay? So we're going to do a warm-up set, just air squats. I always suggest doing a few movements weightless, whether it's squats, whether it's deadlifts, just to get your body in a set position and ready to go because it's very easy to pull a muscle if you are not, your body isn't ready, okay? I'm going to scoot back. Okay, so I'm going to do a set. I'm going to show you how to use this bench to your advantage. Walk back. Depending on what weight you have on, you can go ahead and sit down, get your feet in place out in front of you, then start your set from there. But notice I'm tapping my butt. I'm somewhat pausing for a split second, but I'm not relaxing.
go for five more. Five. Four.
We don't want to rest too long.
shouldn't see rib cage at all. Okay, so again, make sure that you are centered and ripping outside for the first set. Do a few if you feel like you're a little tight. Do a few first before you grab that weight. Get set. Drive it up. Completely up to 
to you whether or not you want to keep it on. It's your workout. You can make it as difficult or as easy as you would like. Okay? So, we're going to get our weight ready. I'm going to go up and wait and down in reps. That's typically what I do because I like to go heavy. Heavy for me, I should say. Probably not heavy for a lot of people. But I am going to put the clips on. I typically don't if I'm just using one plate, but say two pairs, especially if you are not at home and other people could be walking around. Okay, so again, we're gonna do the same thing that we were doing. You're gonna do a set of just free weight, body weight, I should say, to get yourself in position. So we're going straight on with our feet. Okay, make sure you're centered on the bar. Rip that weight. Core lock.
Hold on a second.
to a kettlebell, okay? So, first, we're gonna do deadlifts with the kettlebell, okay? Just squeezing the booty, core locked. Then, we're gonna do kettlebell swings. Then, we're gonna drop down, and we're gonna do up and down on our heels, pulses like this, okay? So, this, what we're gonna do is, let's do, how much time do I have? 40. I think I'm gonna switch it up, I'm gonna switch it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump squat first. So first we're gonna deadlift, okay? Then we're gonna go to our lighter dumbbell or kettlebell. So if you have a dumbbell, you're gonna hold it vertical. Kettlebell's just a little easier. And we're gonna do jump squats, pick up, and put down. I'll move this out a little bit. making sure that you can see me. Okay, so deadlifts, we're gonna do 15. Then we're gonna drop down to the lighter one and we're gonna do jump squat, put it down, yeah. jump squat, pick it up each and every time, 15. Then the last thing we're doing is the bridges. Okay? But each and every time, we're pausing on the way up. So that's kind of like your active rest, if you will. My clients hate when I say active rest, but that's what we do and that's what we're doing. Okay, so pick your weights, adjust your weights after you do the first round, if it's a little bit too heavy or light. Do what you gotta do, but challenge yourself and have fun. You can have your feet wide, your feet narrow, whichever way you prefer.